This will be an assembly video for the anode layer ion source. First we'll start with the ion source case. This is made out of 410 stainless steel which acts as a magnetic return path. There will be a stack of four samarium cobalt magnets, half inch outer diameter, quarter inch inner diameter, uh, four of them each an eighth inch thick for a half an inch total thickness. This will be inserted by first taking a Phillips screwdriver and inserting it through the magnet assembly, putting your thumb on it, and slowly lowering it down into the casing. This way the magnets won't snap against the back of the casing and fracture. So once those are carefully inserted, use the screwdriver to wiggle them to the center. And then move on to the three ceramic insulators. Each ceramic insulator will need a circular clip mounted on it. Using the snap ring pliers, one circle clip is inserted per ceramic insulator up to around a quarter inch from the end of the shaft. Once three ceramic insulator rods have their circle clips attached, each of these is inserted in three of the holes in the base of the ion source. There is no machined notch in for the circle clips, it's just a friction fit. and these will extend through the bottom. Once the three insulators are inserted, the anode ring is placed on top of them, and three flathead screws are inserted through the insulating supports. A shim bushing is then placed on top of the anode ring, the ion source is turned upside down and pressed against a flat surface. This pushes the circlips down to the, and sets the correct height for the anode ring. Afterwards, three more circlips are installed on the rear of the ion source to retain the insulator bushings. Using your thumbnail or the snap ring pliers, press each circlip firmly against the base of the ion source. Take three 080 nuts. and thread them on to the end of the screws. The 
anode ring is now retained within the ion source. Using a size double zero Phillips screwdriver, tighten each screw down. A wrench is not required as the friction from the alumina ceramic insulator securely holds the nut in place. After the anode ring is installed, place a shim washer on top of the stack of magnets. Insert a vented 1032 screw through the center pole piece. And insert the center pole piece through the magnet stack. Now thread the 1032 standoff onto the back of the ion source and tighten it to finger tight with an Allen key. The ion source core is now complete.